we're going to cover a viewer question today and I have a huge non-scale victory to talk about. All that in just a moment. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Very briefly, let me tell you that what you're watching is me out walking every day. 15 months ago, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for two to two and a half minutes without severe pain. And I'm out here walking every day, doing all sorts of stuff that I never thought I could do again. But that's all pretty well documented in all of my other videos. Feel free to go back and watch a couple of those. The main purpose of the channel is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. I'm 60 years old, and I'm doing stuff that I couldn't do when I was 30 years old. Again, you can go back and watch some of my other videos, you can find out what happened to me along the way. In fact, just yesterday's video, no, two days ago, the video two days ago, I went over the entire 15 months or 455 days of carnivore. That covers everything pretty well. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. It means an awful lot to me that you choose to spend just a little bit of your day with me. I'm glad you're here. If you're still here at this point in the video, why don't you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps to get the word out to let people know about the carnivore diet. Do I think everybody needs to do the carnivore diet? Probably not, but I think everybody needs to know it's an option. So first, let's get into this uh, viewer question I got. This is going to be a fairly quick discussion, but I wanted to go over it. I don't remember exactly how they worded it, so I'll just say it was another, yet another kidney question. Someone was questioning about doing... You know, the fact that protein has been shown to, to harm your kidneys. This is absolutely false. Protein in no way makes your kidney function worse. The top two things that damage your kidneys are diabetes and hypertension. So I would say the best way to protect your kidneys is to eat a carnivore diet. In fact, I'm going to link to Amy Berger, just put out a new video today, talking about this very thing. The one takeaway I got from her is that she, you know, she's done a lot of research, written a lot of articles. You can, uh, I'm going to link to that video in the description of this one. But the bottom line is that they, uh, this paper went down the top 15 things that could possibly damage the kidneys. And protein was not on that list. Think about that one for a minute. So all of the research that's out there talking about how protein damages the kidneys is just laughable. And there's people up there doing lawns, so we're going to turn around and go back this way to stay away from the noise had to do a lot of that lately. I am getting ready to go out to the park. Hopefully tomorrow. It's been looking like Seattle today. You know, we've been... We're in another one of those cycles where the day before it says, oh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, there's no rain, there's clouds and storms all around. And the weather forecast says it's going to rain all day tomorrow. But anyway, oh, since people sometimes will ask this, because I, when I walk you can just barely see the top of my shirt, there's what this shirt looks like. Because I've had people ask about this shirt a couple of times. I have no idea what that pattern is supposed to mean or anything. 
I buy a lot of my t-shirts from a company called The Mountain. And they periodically have clearance bin sales where the shirts in them are four bucks. So that's what most of my shirts are. Four dollar clearance shirts. Not because I like the pattern or anything like that. It's a four dollar t-shirt. And that's that's where most of my shirts come from. But anyway, my huge non-scale victory. Most of you know that because of my heart surgery, my sternum deformed. And it's always felt like it wasn't quite healed. And because my sternum is deformed, I've always had to sleep on my back at a slight elevation. Now, since I've lost the weight, it's even more pronounced. You can, if I were to lift my shirt up, you could see my ribs sticking out. The lower third of my rib cage is sticking out a good two inches. Oh, here comes the male guy wandering through. Hello, Mr. Male Guy. How are you today? Hello. Good. Not melting. Yes. I don't know if you could hear him, but he's, I asked him how he was, and he said not melting because it is only 74 degrees out today, which is wonderful. Humidity is still a little high, but I'll take it at 74 degrees. But, uh, you know, my, my ribs stick out, my sternum, because it's turned on its side, sticks way out. My rib cage is just a mess from my heart surgery because I was so fat he had a hard time getting it closed and what has always happened to me during the middle of the night I'll roll off my elevated pillow and end up on my side because my side is my natural sleeping position I think for me that's where I get the best sleep but I haven't been able to do that for five plus years because every time I roll over onto my side in my sleep, it puts pressure on my sternum. And when I wake up, it really hurts. It's hard to grab a breath. And when I take that breath, it hurts. And this guy was standing outside yelling at somebody on his phone when he went down the other way. But anyway... So it's always been hard to, you know, to get good sleep, except on my back on my elevated pillow. Well, I woke up this morning with that elevated pillow pushed off to the side. I was laying on my side and did not have severe pain. So I think my sternum is finally starting to heal. That's a huge non-scale victory. What do I think helped this? Well, this is the point where a lot of you are gonna turn off the video and that's perfectly okay. The only thing I've changed that could have affected this fast because the second meal a day I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, I don't think could have affected it this fast. But the thing I started about a month and a half ago, you all know I, do Cerule products. Well, I was waiting until I was out of the collagen powder that I'd bought, you know, five months ago. And I bought the Cerule collagen peptides. It's called Collagen Active. And, you know, Having appropriate collagen in your body is supposed to help bone regrowth and all that kind of stuff. I don't understand all the science behind it. If you want to know about the science, I've got a link down in the description. You can click on that and right on the front page that you land on. I don't remember what it's called, but the center tab up top has a pull down menu and a link to all the science. So I invite you to take a look at that, read the science for yourself, see if it's something you might want to try. But 
that's the only thing I've changed really in my diet in the last month and a half. I've been on it for about a month and a half and I've been noticing it getting slowly better. But this morning I woke up on my side. Now I don't know how long I had been laying on my side, but it was about the time I normally wake up and there was no pain in my sternum. So for me, that's a huge non-scale victory. Now one quick note, the, the uh, collagen active, which is the Cerule Collagen product, it makes a nice bright blue drink. If you mix it with warm water or cold water, I mix it with my warm water drink in the morning. I'm not wild about it because it does have a little bit of, I think it's stevia, but it's got some kind of artificial sweetener in it. And for me, having been off sweeteners for so long, it's just too sweet. But I think the positive effects of the collagen outweigh the negative effects of the sweetener. That's just my thoughts on it. And according to Professor K, they're working on a formula that does not have sweetener in it. They weren't going to make one because the powers that be in the company seem to think that people won't, won't use products that don't taste good, especially drink products. And Professor K has convinced them that people that listen to him are made of stronger stuff and we will just drink it because it's good for us no matter how it tastes. So that's something to look into. Just another piece of food for thought. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've got a link in the description. Check it out. Read the science. That's, that's all I ask. Just read the science and make your own decision. But the main purpose of today's video is to remind you, and I'm to link that Amy Berger video down below, protein does not damage your kidneys. All of the so-called research on that is bunk. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I will see you in the next one.